Rule number three, adjust your trading size based on your performance. If you have a losing streak, reduce the number of trades, reduce the amount that you're willing to lose on each and every trade. Then when you see consistent in your profits, you can gradually increase your size again. Hey there, Tom here from FibonaciTraders.com. You read the Daily Market Recap. Please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends, and without any further ado, let's see the charts. Buy on the daily, as we can see, 430, still a very tough resistance in the past week or so. 424 to the downside, 430 to the upside, long continuation above towards 437 together with this yellow trend line. If 424 will fail to hold, we will close this gap and then 42419 to the downside, we need to hold. QQQ, inside day, nothing much. 347 to the downside, still holding. 357 to the upside resistance together with this yellow trend line let's see where kills will finish this week let me know in the comments below what do you think between the 347 and the 357 or are we going to break below the 347 to the downside let me know in the comments below dow jones finally bulls of the dow arrived joined the party but it's still early Let's see continuation towards the 340. 335 together with this red trend line is now our support. IWM, bulls of the IWM taking rest. 187 to the upside. 187 is the 618. And as we said, 618 retracement will be a tough one for the bulls. It was a very important level of support. It was a very tough resistance in the past. So once again, 187, 618, Fibonacci retracement, giving hard time for IWM bulls. Let's see where it will close the week, above or below. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Above 188 or below 188. XLE. 82 83 still holding as resistance we have this slight gap at 80 more than 80 percent of all gaps will get filled let's see still early on xle to take any kind of decision we might take long weekly close above the 83 area smh 146 147 to the upside 142 143 to the downside consolidation on smh Overall, looking good. Let's see where SMH can take us. We can take Fibonacci to help us identify the next levels of support and resistance to the future. And we can see 146 area, all this area is resistance. 142, 143 to the downside below it. In my opinion, we are going to test this red trend line long continuation above 147 towards this yellow trend line with the 151 to the upside ethereum as we can see all we need are lines trend lines and that's it ethereum since april price range is day is getting tighter and tighter we need to be prepared for both sides long continuation above this red trend line short obviously below this one then we can take fibonacci swing low swing high to let us know where our future support and resistance above the trend line we are going 1920 1960 and all the levels to the upside below 1790 we are going to all these levels to the downside. Candlestick analysis, trend lines, and Fibonacci. These are all the things and all the tools that we need to know where price might be heading next. Bitcoin, between the yellow trend line, orange trend line, red trend line, that's it. We are in a downtrend until proven otherwise. Until when? 
until this white trend line will break to the upside. Until then, we are in a short term downtrend. Follow price. Use trend lines as your guide for future price action. Bulls of Tesla are here holding above the 225. Looks like bulls of Tesla are making the run towards 250 and closing this gap at the 261. Until then, we are in an uptrend. And if you are a pattern seeker, pattern trader, you can see here some kind of a cup handle, which means that we might get all the way towards 304 and 304. 40 to the upside but one level at a time one week at a time one candle at a time fibonacci traders we don't rely on patterns because patterns are not reliable all we do is follow price use levels and trend lines as our guide for future price action and we can see clearly that we have another trend line over here this is our next major resistance 250 together with this green trend line and the gap at the 261. Apple, inside day, but holding above the 176. If, if bears will give up trying to break below the 176, we will get a nice continuation on the bull run of Apple towards 185 and 197. Microsoft inside day relaxing above the 324. This 324 needs to hold, otherwise, we are going to close this gap at the 316 and retesting the 313 together with this red trend line. For now, Microsoft moving sideways. If you are not long or short on Microsoft, need to wait. And of course, it's only my opinion. Everything you see and hear from me is only my opinion always do your own due diligence in my opinion if you're not long or short on microsoft need to wait short i don't see any any short maybe short term short below 313 long continuation above 340 towards 344 and 360 netflix pools of netflix holding the 393 to the downside, very important level of support, as you can see, since end of May, 394, 393 is holding. Now let's see if we can get continuation above 413, above this red trend line towards this red trend line together with the 440. Google, same as Microsoft, since middle of May, Basically moving sideways between the 121 and the 126 to the upside. Doji. Let's see where Google is heading. Short. Below 121 towards 117. Long continuation above 126 towards 133 together with this white trend line. Amazon, perfect example of why trend lines are the true support resistance for price action and also roadmap for future price action. Inside candle, holding this yellow trend line. This yellow trend line helps us to identify the higher lows. This, this, white, this yellow trend line helps us to identify the higher highs, which means we are in an uptrend, uptrend inside an uptrend. If you're looking for short, stop looking because for now, Amazon is in an uptrend. Follow the trend lines as your guide for future price action. Nvidia retesting this yellow trend line as support. It was resistance, as we can see, resistance, resistance resistance then came the big gap to the upside now holding a support a long continuation above 396 397 breaking below this trend line 
we are going towards this gap to the downside. And we know that more than 80% of all gaps will get filled. The sooner the better. Shopify broke above, retesting with a doji. Long continuation above the 60-61 area towards 65. Until then, Shopify is moving sideways. Let's see where Shopify will take us. Meta. Three consecutive dojis of this trend line. Pullback is very healthy. Now let's see if pulls of Meta can bounce once again towards this white trend line to the upside. We can take Fibonacci, of course. We have the swing low. We have the swing high. Long continuation above 265. Pullback continuation below 257 towards this white trend line over here. Overall, Meta is in an uptrend. Very strong name. AMD. 116, 118. Support. Long continuation above this white trend line towards 131. Above 131, we will see bull run continuation towards 150. A weekly close below the 116, we are going to close the gap at the 108. All we have to do, follow price, use levels and trend lines as our guide for future price action. No other indicators are truly needed because all indicators, without any exceptions, are lagging. RSI, MACD, all the EMAs, all the, the indicators that you see here, are lagging educate yourself to become your own indicator stop following others to tell you what to do what to buy what to sell where to sell become your own indicator and then you will see success and consistency so i hope you found this video helpful if you did please hit the like subscribe share with friends will be much appreciated don't forget to check the links in the description below for more educational resources. Until the next video, do good things.